welcome 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 once again to my channel Fox business my name is Sufusu Godwin and marketing professional and marketing trainer welcome once again today we're going to look at how to find customers on Instagram with millions and probably billion users monthly on Instagram Instagram has become a huge platform companies both big and small are harnessing the benefits of Instagram join me in this video as I take you through some of the rudiments or some of the basic techniques of getting customers on Instagram now the first thing I'm going to talk about is to research hashtags research on hashtags you know hashtags are used more or less like um, search engines on, on social media especially on Instagram right to search for things that people are interested in and to search for even communities that people are interested in and niches that people are interested in at least identify and list up to 10 hashtags related to your business search within each of these hashtags one by one and then as a matter of fact look out for how people are reacting to comments in this hashtag communities for example let's take a hashtag like diesel generator sets or generators right realize that people have posted different posts using this hashtag and this has formed a community you can have thousands of I mean posts within some of these hashtags select the post with engagement identify followers and comments and analyze them look out for these people who make those comments and those who like and commented etc and then follow them they are likely to be people that are interested in your product because the hashtags are related to your business or to your niche follow these people interact with them like their post and comment on their post right it is important as a matter of fact to continue to interact with these people follow them and connect and engage with them you can even send them flyers of your product web links etc communicate with them then you'll be able to as a matter of fact turn them into customers the next thing I'm going to talk about is to follow more potential buyers you see people have actually taken social media marketing to be something that is more to do with just the social aspect of it but in marketing it is important as a matter of fact that you have to have so you have to have a hunter attitude right to be able to hunt for potential buyers right follow more people potential people go through their profiles sometimes Instagram even suggests people for you to follow suggest some people for you to follow take your time go through their profile and see whether they are the right customers for your product or your services follow them after analyzing their profile see whether they are active or not active if the person have not posted for a long time for a matter of months you should get to know that this particular person is not active on social media you see with the principle of push pull and profile marketing communication it is important as a matter of fact to also reach out to potential customers so don't always wait for followers I have always not believed in always waiting for followers but I do follow people by analyzing their profile and checking to see whether they are the right persona for my niche the problem here is that or the point here is that limit your followings to maximum of 3,500 to avoid appearing 
much more as spam right to avoid appearing more as spam to some experienced social media people or some social media users and even the Instagram platform as a matter of fact so limit up to 3,500 that is follow up to 3,500 people if they don't follow you back you just relax and wait and, and um, begin to analyze the profiles of some of these people back again and then connect and engage with them you see it is not just a matter of numbers number of followers but it's the quality of the followers right so like I said follow up to 3,500 and then pause from there and then wait for them to follow back the very few that follow if you're able to get even 100 out of the 3,500 make use of that 100 followers communicate with them and keep in constant touch with them it is not a matter of numbers it's a matter of I have I have analyzed the social media platforms that are managed by so-called social media gurus some of the social media gurus now I've got to realize that the engagement rate is very low below average oh, how can you have about a hundred thousand or seventy seven thousand followers and total interactions is less than even one thousand or even five hundred it tells me that you have a below average I mean engagement rate fine impression is good but and it's good for creating brand awareness but if you create brand awareness and then no leads are converted then you only just get share of voice and share of voice alone cannot reflect on the company's balance sheet right so you also need share of market right it is important to ensure that you chase quality and not quantity if you need customers you need to find them so it is not always fine it is good if you are able to get followers without following a large number of people but it will be better to follow up to 3500 like i said you can have huge followers but your engagement rate will be low or below average right follow instagrammers who follow you or who comment on your post right you can also use promos discounts and incentives to get people to follow you another trick that you can also do is to search for instagram feature accounts these accounts are communities in the form of a magazine they actually they actually build around a specific niche and produce specific type of content so look for feature accounts that are related to your industry and then go there and search for customers right for example Pesa lovers could be a feature account right this simply means that most of the people that go there are Pesa lovers their page actually posts about pizzas and have a lot of pizza lovers there you could reach out to customers and you'll be able to shape these customers or prospect to become your customers and for that matter become your clients right these type of pages are similar to magazines like interest based magazines right whereby as a matter of fact niche based content are posted so you look for such accounts that post niche based content that are related to yours and begin to connect with people within that community another feature i'm going to talk about is instagram live which is a very common icon very identifiable icon on the instagram app on mobile if you don't know how to even go do Instagram live you can research on how to do Instagram live videos right it gives the opportunity to appear live towards your audience I mean use live visuals you go live and then you reach out to the target audience you can go live for about 10 minutes which I think is the ideal time to be live 
Instagram Live gives you the opportunity to demonstrate your products, show new how new products works, uh, or how a product solves a problem. You can also engage in Q&A, question and answers, interact with your audience. You can do live promotions, where people to win prizes and gifts live on your Instagram Live um, broadcast. Right? It's it 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 is it is a way of making you have a face view towards your target audience right it is all good for rational appeals to explain and to showcase to showcase your product live if you are a cook you can even show your kitchen live cooking in the kitchen you can show your office show your staff etc live and see what happens behind the scenes right you can even invite a colleague who is an expert in an area related to your niche and have a discussion with that particular person live on Instagram. One good thing is that you can announce your live Instagram live event ahead of time. It could be a week or some number of days or some number of weeks. And you can even have a countdown to that. Five days more, four days more, three days more, two days more, 24 hours more, 10 hours more to continue to remind people of your live cast one good thing is that you can share your live videos to IGTV which is Instagram TV so that the video can stay there for long but normally the video normally part stores in the, in the storage which does not take a lot of time or does not, does not stay for a long time so you have the opportunity to save in IG TV as a matter of fact Instagram live can be used for product launches as well it's a very effective platform for building brand awareness and for engaging with customers and then also generating new customers and new leads for that matter it is quite simple you can learn how to go Instagram live by researching on that it's quite simple and it's user-friendly so user friendly button on Instagram. The last that I'm going to talk about is Instagram paid ads, of which some social media marketers do not agree with because most social media marketers of these days prefer to do organic Instagram ads. But paid ads are also good. And the point is that with a budget as little as you have all that you can afford, you'll be able to have an Instagram ad running with as little as ten dollars you could run ad for some days the good thing is that it gives the opportunity to choose your advertising objective right and as well as a matter of fact enable you to target specific audience okay demographically age gender location wise geographically location and so on and so forth so it makes your advert very targeted towards a selected audience, right? So you are able to reach your target audience with search ads. It is very impactful and it gets a lot of results. Look, these platforms were created by companies and they need revenue. So paid version will definitely have to work well than unpaid version. Try Instagram paid ads. It is simple. You can, if you don't know how to do it, you can get someone who's a bit experienced in using Instagram or who has been doing Instagram ads to help you as a small business to run Instagram ads. That is like ten dollars. You can get an ad run. You can run ads in different formats: photos, short videos, about thirty seconds, forty-five seconds video, um, photos and graphics, etc. But for videos, I'll, I'll recommend some 20 second video, but it should be impactful. All your ads, you have call to action. For example, call, WhatsApp, make a quote, uh, get a quote, order now, call us, etc. Right. So paid ads are very effective and it doesn't cost that much. It is cheaper and a lot of brands are taking advantage of this particular feature on Instagram.
Thank you very much for watching my videos. Don't forget to subscribe button and subscribe, comment, share, and like. And watch out for my next video.